Okay, by last, last but by no means least, we're going to hear um, from another one of my heroines, and that's um, Romy Fraser, who founded Neil's Yard and um, now runs Trill Farm. Over to you. Lovely to see you. Well, like other people have been saying, it's, um, I feel that it's an honour for me to be here, particularly because there are so many amazing people here, and I do feel that I'm with friends. Um, and talking of friends, I've been friends with Safia for around 25 years, and it's been great. And when I got the book in the post, I thought... This is just another exciting episode of Safia's life. And um, the bit that I particularly liked was the bit at the back um, about retailers. Um, because having been in retail, I, um, well, that's my passion really. Although farming is beginning to take over. But, um, Retailing is complicated because you're the interface with the customer and actually it's all to do with trust. And I think that's really all I want to say <coughs> is that with Safia, I trust that she knows what she's doing. She knows the people at the beginning of that web, that chain, of products. So what I think it's fashion is one thing. Um, a tin of tomatoes is another and a chair is something else. We don't know where these products come from, who's been involved. We don't know the stories and actually talking to Safir you start to unravel what is behind each of those products that we just decide to buy on a whim. We don't need half the products that we buy. And we don't really care what that product, where it's come from. And it's that message that I think we need to get across. So at the end of your book, where you list the retailers, that was what was exciting for me. Just thinking, yeah, there really are other people, there really are other retailers out there who really do care. And it's just about caring and trust. Thank you very much, Safia. <laughs>